So have you ever been in a spot where one of your internal tools just broke and you even don't know to whom you should uh, go to to ask for some help because the organization is so huge and your friend that knows everybody there is right now on Hawaii. Uh, so you're a bit lost. We were a couple of times, so that's why we built this. The core idea of uh, our project is that uh, we integrate the multiple data sources such as the GitHub repository, the commits, the issues, the Jira tasks, some internal PDFs, uh, and so on. Uh, then we parse it through the LLM to make, a, make, make sense of each of those data pieces. And based on this, we can create the profile of each person in the organization uh, with the skills that they have, the uh, history of the project they work in, uh, and so on. Then we combine all of this to build this uh, organization knowledge graph. And when somebody has a problem, he goes to OrgLens and just asks the question and it's gonna uh, point to, to the right person that's gonna help you. So, going to, to our demo. Exactly, so um, for that we used two public repositories uh, from Metalama um, for this demo and we just scraped all the data. Um, now if I, wanting to learn more about this layer, uh, not normalization layer of the Llama 4 models, I could just ask the AI and you make use of this long context capabilities of the Llama 4 models to perform deep contextualized search. So here I ask about this normalization layer and the model gives out the name of the person I should contact that probably knows about this. So with that, I can just click on the name, it will open the full summary, so full profile page of the, of the contributor. And this profile page has looked into everything that this contributor has done on this repo. So meaning the issues it has resolved and all the commits it has done. Good thing is now, if that person is out of office, we can just talk with a um, twin like AI and talk, uh, like, yeah, just ask the question we have without needing to bother or ping them. Hi, it's Ashwin here, what's up? Hi Ashwin, can you tell me more about this layer normalization on the LAMA4 models? Let me try again. Hi, it's Ashwin here, what's hey, up? Hey Ashwin, can you tell me more about this layer normalization of the LAMA4 models? Yeah, you know, when it comes to normalization, the RMS norm class in PyTorch is a useful option. It normalizes the input X using root mean square normalization. Exactly, so it has got the context, looked at the commit this person has done and gave us probably a response. Uh, yes, and this idea is not only limited to big tech companies. You can think of, for example, you can build a similar knowledge graph of uh, all of the researchers are at Stanford based on the papers they publish and based on the project they work on. So like, you can use it in a lot of different uh, scenarios. Where did you use Llama in the flow? Uh, so uh, we use the Llama, uh, first of all, when we scrape the data. So for example, we have the commit with the uh, divs on the code. So then we parse it through the Llama to make sense of the whole commit. Uh, so what, was, what has been changed? Then uh, we use the Llama to gather all of this, uh, that, like all of this data that we have the database and put it into the context. And thanks to this super huge context, we can actually uh, search the right person based on this. Uh, what did you use for the voice component? Uh, we used the Play AI API. Uh, so it was a bit, a bit easier to integrate it using this, but uh, I mean, you can achieve more or less the same results with the Llama text-to-speech and speech-to-text. So probably gonna switch to this in the future. Is the uh, knowledge graph here dynamic? Meaning if we added new repositories, new contributors, is that going to be scraped in real time or how is that going to look? Yeah, for now it's not real time. Um, I mean, we can just rerun the scrape and it will be updated uh, accordingly. Um, but yeah, for the scope of the hackathon, we did not do it real time. Um, actually, to scrape all the data we have here, it took, and to process it with LLM, it took less than a minute using Llama for Maverick. Part of the challenge with stuff like this is this assumes that the person who knows happens to be somebody who's contributed in GitHub or something, right? Most organizations, this is probably 50% of the organization, 60% of the organization. 
remaining 40% might be, for example, you don't write code sadly, uh, but I might have answers to your questions. So how do you think about that? We did think about just integrating the emails, which has privacy concerns. But if, we, if you're like a product manager, we can look into all your emails, have them indexed, or just some of them. We could also be able to provide and point the people like, towards you if you have some information. So it's not only about GitHub, it's everything you do uh, that could be indexed into, into that database.